nice juices are dripping from the board. Yo. Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. Yo, today's video is gonna be epic. If you guys love pork, you're definitely gonna love this. Um, well, first of all, I have to introduce to you guys my producer for the show. He's gonna be the camera guy who's gonna be helping out getting all the cool shots. Yeah, Kian, where are you? Ready. Ready. Nice going, ladies. So, my cousin's gonna be helping me today to build an outdoor oven so we can get this pork done to the best ability. You guys are lucky. You guys have ovens at home where you can do it quite easily. Um, if there's anything in the dish that you don't like, just take it out, you know, switch the recipe around for your own good. But today's dish, a jerk barbecue pork belly. <laughs> Yo, you guys are gonna enjoy this. I'll catch you guys in the next shot. Alright guys, so basically here we have no <laughs> the most imp this is the star of the show and this is our marinated pork belly. Alright, so basically just to give you guys a walkthrough of what happened here with the pork belly is I want a nice slab of pork belly, then I chop them up into big size cubes. Now basically whenever you put these in the oven, they are going to shrink. They call that rendering. Now what rendering is, is when that fat starts melting down and all those flavors and those oils just keep going around the meat. Trust me, it's, it's ridiculous when the, the, the fat actually renders onto the meat. Now after I cut these up, what I did is just to season them up just like how you do with any jerk. So for example, we used, I'll put on the screen everything that I use, but I use some dry jerk seasoning, then I use some wet jerk seasoning, and then I made my own organic seasoning as well, just to give it this nice, you know, herbaceous kind of feel, you know, something that's not coming out of a bottle, basically, right? And then you put that into these things here, you know, a Ziploc bag, put it in your fridge. I think jerk is always best when it goes overnight. It gets that good marination, and yeah, that's basically it. Now, just to give you guys a better look at what we're talking about. Now, here we have a nice cut of the pork belly. If you look at it, you can see all the seasonings that all around it. Trust me, this is going to be delicious. And then when we're done, all we have to do is to pop it into our, <laughs> our outdoor oven. And basically, that will be it. Alright guys, so we basically have the fire kicking up some heat right now and the next step is to drop it into our outdoor oven. So basically the concept is we're going to put hot coals under there that we're having um, getting hot really right now. Oh, there goes mocha over there for those who might be wondering. So mocha is still here. Um, get the hot coals under there and then get it really hot. Then up top, we're going to have more hot coals. Um, basically for this dish, you kind of want it to be on um, low heat. You want it to slow cook for about three hours about 250 degrees around um, but of course we can't really modulate that so well out here with this so we're just gonna keep it as hot as we can but not you know scorching hot or anything like that and then have it slow cook for about three hours and then yeah
All right, so we're just gonna lay these down. It's best to have as much air as you can around them, you know, for proper ventilation, uh, you know, even cooking. But our oven isn't the biggest, so we're just working what we have. Preferably, we go fat side up, you know, just to keep everything uniform for the cook, you know, but I'm not sure it has any special reason for doing that, but I'm just keeping the fat upside. Alright guys, so we basically have something very similar to our oven going on here. Maybe we can get something to just cover the front to really seal in that heat properly. And then that will be it. We're going to leave this for about 3 hours or so and let it do a thing. Alright, so those have been, been in there for about an hour and a half or so. They're getting some nice darkness and that's mostly from the smoke. So the smoke and, you know, it will go around all that meat and gives it a bit of darkness. And then basically what we're going to do is just cover it down, let that residual heat stay in there, finish it off. And, oh God, you guys can see that wetness dropping. Drip again, baby. No? Alright, so we basically have these rendered, they've been in the oven for quite a bit, um, it's an outdoor oven so it's not the best, but what we're going to do, I'm going to add some stuff to it for it to cook down. This beer in Jamaica is really popular, it's a sorrel beer. Then of course, I'm just going to add some of this uh, sorrel jelly here, we're going to sum all of it. Then some sugar, brown sugar, make sure some brown sugar. This is gonna make everything caramelize and have a nice little you know, thing going on to it there. And you just mix these up. Don't matter if it's upside down or downside up, you really don't care. Kinda wanted to save the rest of this for myself, but gonna use all of here. Almost forgot the jerk seasoning that we had left over. It's gonna go in there. And then yeah, mix that together. And then we're gonna pop this into our outdoor oven. We can pop this into a little makeshift oven. Thank you. 
All right, so as you guys can see, it started to rain and yeah, we're on the last dish. It's somewhere about four o'clock right now. What time is it now, Keanu? It's 4.30 right now, so we probably might leave the pork in there until about 5.30 and then we can actually try to sample it. But this is just really cool, you know, by the river, the rain. Yo, outdoor cooking is a little bit tricky. There are some stuff that you have to learn. You're going to make a few mistakes, of course, but that's what makes it just beautiful. So we're going to have this pork when it's done. I'll tell you guys what I think about it. What are you doing up here? What? Yo, this is just nature man because the whole level of the water of the river actually has changed man it's, it's almost like almost you know a lot closer to the, the fire but anyway we have to pull through and love nature adaptation right so my cousin attempted a burger <laughs> all right so um he's giving a part of his burger to mocha but she's still up there like it's crazy mocha come down burger come on Stuff. That is how she got up here, I don't know. Come on, come. I'm putting it right here. Come on. Hey, she came down for the burger. So I'm gonna leave it in there a bit longer so that this boils down a little bit more and gets a lot more sticky. Alright, goes back in there and let that dry down a bit. Alright guys, so basically we are done because it's holding it. See all those nice juices are dripping from the board. Yo, let me tell you, look at that. Alright, ready to begin cuz? Yeah. Let's ready. go. Alright guys, so we did this in our little outdoor oven and the results aren't so bad. I mean of course we could have gotten it a lot tender. You guys when you do that at home, you know once you do this on your you know in your oven you're gonna get an even more tender. Piece, but yo look at that it's so juicy so nice you can taste the sweetness of the barbecue that sorrel jelly a little bit of heat from the jerk mm. oh my gosh look at that this is so good see that Different layers here, tender skin, juicy, nice.
house big up yourself. You're helping to build that oven. <laughs> that was all you. Definitely gonna work on it some more to improve it. Maybe raise the fire a little bit. No, let's lower the fire a bit more. So that we can, where we can get more even heat. But regardless, man. Really good. Trust me, it's really good. There's a little bit of charring on some of them. That's outdoors. My oven isn't perfect. But <laughs> I can't believe we actually cooked something in order to make shit oven, bro. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Good day. You next? Ready. Alright. Alright, my cousin's gonna play his favorite piece. Oh. Sweet. That piece is real tender. Really tender. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a piece more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really good. There's a evenness to it mm -hmm. and there's still a diverse type of feel to it as well but the flavors are just the different flavors right? are different but they are you can taste the sorrel beer the sorrel yeah. jelly but they all complement each other and that's that's the best thing right now the most try this guys definitely try this at home i'm telling you if you do it in your oven it's going to be even better trust me it's a vibe <laughs> you know what I get into cause? Mm -hmm. When I get the parts that have these cloves on it, yeah. it has a very ham flavor. Yeah. Like Christmas ham. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. trust me. It's a wonderful dish, I must say. I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the description box so you guys can do it. For a very cheap piece of meat, because the pork belly is not really heavily sought after by a lot of people. But you can do a lot with it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Like I daydream about them because. Yeah, one, one piece, one piece. <laughs> a piece more, lady. Hey, been a good girl for morning? Mm -hmm. You want? Good girl. All right, and that's gonna bring us to the end of another video. As you guys know, if you want to try one of these snacks, just drop in the comments and just say, yo, I would like to try these Jamaican snacks. For me, it's just my way to be able to get these to you so you can try a part of my culture and maybe it's a part of your culture that you have been missing. Or if you don't want to wait on these, you don't want to try to ask for it, you want to just go ahead and buy them. It's on the website, it's www.soaistore.com. So if you guys want to see me try more of these crazy recipes, you know, just being creative with food and just enjoying ourselves, trying stuff that we see on the internet or stuff that we read about or people send to us. If you want to see us try these dishes, give this video a like. Make sure that, you know, you share it with your friends. And if you just love the fact that my cousin and I built this, uh, what do you call it, the oven stove, whatever you want to call it, shout out to my cousin. If you respect that he did that, drop a like on the video or drop in the comments and just say, yo, shout out to Keanu. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's so juicy, it's all over my mouth. But anyway, guys, remember these two things. Love, nature, adaptation, and always remember. <laughs> See the link. My hand's messy. Sorry for talking with food.